Okay, there's a picture here of an angel flying into the heavens. Nothing special. I get the feeling there's something behind this picture, though. That girl's cries and footsteps disappeared beyond it, after all. Will you move the picture? Yeah, go ahead and move it. Alright. So, I think for the most part, I kind of know where I'm going. Uh. See, I know he's over there. See, you don't fool me. Ah! Run away. Oh well. Okay, so... I'm gonna try not to do this quickly. At least quicker than I did it last time. Um, and I did want to show this. Oh, burning houses. Nope. I want to look the other way. Stupid thing. There we go. See, burning house. All right. Now I gotta go back over here and do this. And as soon as I go into this room and come out, the missionary guy or whatever he's called is gonna be back out here. Uh, we got stun gun batteries. We have a diary on the bed. Let's do diary on the bed. Let's read it quickly and get through this. <sighs> this writing. Is this dad's diary? Why would it be here? I sometimes have the sense, even now, that that girl is a reincarnation of Alessa. I don't worry about it much now. That's all forgiven. You, you were unloved, Cheryl, or was that Alessa? Now Cheryl is Alessa again. No matter whose reincarnation she may have been, that girl was my most beloved treasure. But that name was a mistake. At the time, I thought of her only as a replacement for my lost Cheryl. When she knows the truth, will she, yeah, will she feel bad? That's what worries me. Thanks, Dad, so I was Alessa after all. But I do have just a trace of one memory left. I haven't forgotten my sweet and gentle mother. Jody! Jody Mason. And you cannot do anything else because that door is locked. There's nothing in the closet. There's nothing else to interact with. And we come out here. And guess who's come to join us? Hello, mister. Misters. Stop trying to kill me, please. And the door is open. Inside, there's someone wrapped in a bag. Maybe. Nope, they're definitely dead. Stop getting stuck on things! Hanged Man Tarot Card! Oh gosh, and I found so much last time. Sorry, I did that. Um, I did a whole lot in those ten minutes! Missed me. Oh, did I, I just glitched straight through you. Oops. There we go. Uh. Excuse me. No. No. Okay. Nope. <laughs> there. Okay. Thank you. Oh, yeah, this is another one we came across, huh? This is... yeah! Oh, Valtiel. What are you doing to that poor woman? Just shaking her about. I guess that's what happens when you don't obey Valtiel, or... Whatever. Okay, I think this is... yes. Alright. So, key? Brass key, I don't know where that goes. Um, memo. Alright. Hmm, a memo book. Something's written inside. She's just beyond the store. I don't know how, but I can sense it. 
But she's not the only one there. I sense the presence of something extremely dangerous, even sickening, or maybe what they call God. Nevertheless, I will open the door. Enough of this idle chit-chat. God, I'm not, but I fully intend to save her. No, them. The last entry was written some seventeen years ago. It looks like Dad wrote this, too. And now we have Alessa's dress. My clothes from when I was seven. They don't fit me now. Good thing, too. I think there should be, like, a mod or something for Heather and have her wear Alessa's clothes. I think that'd be so funny. This is my sketchbook from 17 years ago. On the front cover, there's a picture of Dad. Really awful work. What's this doing here? Oh, this is miserable trying to read. The door sure does rattle, but it's stuck tight. A secret is hidden out of your sight. You may be thinking, what could it be? You'll need five magic cards if you want to see. What to do then with all these? I'll tell you straight and I won't tease, just as long as you say please. Now the first thing you must know is that there's something in each row, but that is not the half of it. Three would be too hard to fit. The upside down man under the ground, to his right, to his left, there's no one around. Leave him alone, though his tears are profound. The moon is up above the sky, fuller crescent floating high, twinkling lights it's like a crown on the head of a crazy clown. Your Excellency, praying to God most high, do you think you can tell me why you always look up at the night sky? Do you have it now? You didn't forget one major point you must not omit, and at least, or now at the last, before you take a whack, here's one more hint to keep you on track. Scary and hateful, that thing in the night, better be careful, it's not on your right. Turn to the left, and you'll keep it in sight. So you'll open the door? I'm just sure that there'll be nothing beyond it but frightening peril. Forget about that. Just stay and play, or else I'll be left alone here all day. And also, a cool thing I noticed. Hold on, let's see if I can. Up there, on the top shelf, there's a picture of the home, Dahlia, and Alyssa. And, 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 if you go over here, there's a picture of the home and Dahlia. And, I don't know what that's a picture of. There's cards, and look, the death card is up. There are playing cards on the floor. I used to play a lot. I remember little Claudia always had a hard time winning. That made her cry. Ah, wrong way. Saving. I know it wasn't me. Alessa wrote this a long time ago. That chapel altar. It wasn't a beautiful chapel. It was some other altar somewhere else. Ooh, right. Okay, Alessa's room. Ooh, now we got to go the way back. And I don't remember where it was that I went. Oh, no, never mind. I do remember. That's a lie. And let me guess. Missionary guys come out to play or no? Really? Okay, well, I don't know where to go now. Which is frustrating. Ah! There we go. Oh! I did not find this room before. Awesome. Moon tarot card. Awesome. Yay! Progress, finally. With more sexy Vincent. Mm. Oh. Hiya, Heather. You show up everywhere, don't you? You make me sound like some kind of unwanted pest. A sexy best. Well, who are you anyway? Haven't you realized that yet? Yeah, you're on Claudia's side. I told you not to put me in the same category as that mad woman. 
Well, you're pretty loony yourself. It's true. We believe in the same God. But I'm quite sane. So why did you help me out then? Was that also part of trying to resurrect God? It's not uncommon for people to worship the same God and still disagree. God? Are you sure you don't mean devil? Whichever you like. The point is that now I really am on your side. I don't want God to be born. It wouldn't be... Convenient. Much too unpredictable. So you've been using me to stop Claudia, is that it? Do your own dirty work. My dirty work? I think we both had our own interests in mind. You hate her too, don't you? You're the only one who can get it done. I don't have powers like you two. Besides, I always hated getting all hot, sweaty. Oh, really? I'm just looking out for myself. Everyone does it. <laughs> don't stand there looking so smug. You're the worst person in this room. You come here and enjoy spilling their blood. And, and listening to them cry out. You feel excited when you step on them and snuff out their lives. Are you talking about the monsters? Just a joke. It's a very bad joke. By the way, I forgot to ask you. Did you get the seal of Metatron? What's that? You don't have it? Leonard was carrying it. You mean this thing? Yes, that's it. As long as we have that, we're fine. You're fine. With that sexy hair. Take this. Oh, great. More reading. Heather, correct that but Can I read it? No, oh, I'm pressing the wrong buttons. Douglas's notebook. Can we read it? Oh. Yeah, no, we read it. Okay, never mind. A lad. No! No! Uh, no! Stop it! Enter! No! What is going on? I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. Seal of Metatron! The Seal of Metatron? Anyway, this magic square with strong protective and dispelling properties is called the Viron Seven Crest. Sure. Or the Seal of Metatron. It will bring results regardless of whether the target is good or evil. Its strength, therefore, places a very high burden on its on the on the caster. As it is also difficult to control, it is not usually used. This is why it bears the name Metatron, after the angel Metatron, or Metraton, also known as the agent of God. Sounds like a transformer. Okay, I saw a few more things about here. There's a blank sheet of paper here, but it's blank. Um, 
I guess we can't do anything with it. 